friends, welcome back to my channel. Let me guess, you are ready to finally get on a budget in the new year, but you have no idea where to start. And I'm here to tell you that the best place to start is by tracking your spending. So I want to show you exactly how to do that in today's video. Hey guys, my name is Kristen. I'm so happy you are here spending some time with me today. And I just want to jump right into the video. The first thing I want to let you know is that I have a free budgeting course on my site. I'm going to go ahead and link that down below. So when this video is over, you can go ahead and sign up. And the reason I want you to sign up is not just because it's going to teach you how to budget or just teach you a better way to budget if you're already struggling, but also because it comes with this nine page workbook. It's completely free. You can print it out. It's going to take you through the whole course. And as it relates to this video in this workbook is a free spending tracker. She's real cute and she looks like this. So this is completely free. Go ahead, sign up when you're done watching this video, print out your workbook, and then you can have the spending tracker to go along with this video. Let me just tell you guys, it is so nice today here in PA. I can't even believe it. It's December 13th. I think is when I'm filming this and it is like 55 degrees outside. So I really want to open a window because it's warm in here. I'm wearing a sweater but our street is super loud. So let's get into it. First thing I want to explain is what does it really mean to track your spending? And all I want you to do to track your spending is to write down every single dollar and cent that you spend. And you're going to do this over a specified amount of time that you designate. I would prefer especially if you're brand new to budgeting and you're just really not sure where to start, I would prefer you did this for a good two to three months, but I know that can feel like a long time. So then my next preference would be a full solid month. If you really can't do that, two weeks. Two weeks is the minimum. You have to do at least two weeks, but truly a month is a much better time frame. I know you might be eager to get started, but the whole point of tracking your spending is it's going to give you some very important data about your spending habits. And the reason we need that data is because a lot of times we'll sit down to write our first budget and we're going down through our categories. Okay, how much do I spend on food? Well, guess what? You may think that you're only spending $300 a month on food, but after you track your spending for a full month and you sit down and you look at the numbers that you've recorded, you may be shocked. This actually happened to us when we first began budgeting and I looked and realized we were spending like 800 to a thousand freaking dollars on food every single month for only four of us. Now that's no judgment if that's how much you spend, but for us, it was way too much. We couldn't afford to spend that money. And I was shocked because I truly thought it was probably about half that amount. And that is why it is so important to track your spending or you're going to set this budget with these arbitrary numbers in each category and then what's going to happen is you are going to absolutely tank your first month and then you're going to get discouraged and you're going to think this sucks i can't budget i can't do this it's too hard we'll never be able to stick to these numbers and you'll be right because you can't stick to a budget that's not realistic so that is really the crux of this whole exercise is to make sure that you are creating a monthly budget that is realistic for you so that you can actually stick to it. There is no point in budgeting and taking the time to set a budget every single month if you're not able to stick to it, right? Right. Okay, so step one, you're going to sign up for the free budgeting course and you're going to print out the workbook and you're going to start with that spending tracker, okay? Step number two, you are going to set a designated amount of time that you are committing. You're making a commitment to track your spending. It's not that hard. It does sometimes take a couple days to get used to because you really have to get in the habit of writing this down every day. So let me give you a couple of tips on how you can do that and be consistent. If you're not being consistent, it's not going to help you because you're not actually giving yourself accurate data. So you can't have data where you're 
tracking three days this week, five days the next week, and then you know two days the next week. It's just not going to be reliable and there's no point in doing this if you're not going to have numbers that you can rely on again to help you set realistic budget amounts. So you're gonna grab this spending tracker and you are going to put it in a place where you will see it all day because that is how you're going to remember to track your spending. For me, the best place to put it was always just hang it on my fridge. For you, I don't know, obviously that's up to you. What you really need to do is make sure that you are getting a receipt every time you spend money. Now maybe for some of us, that's a whole new habit you need to create all on its own, but you need to get a receipt. Find a place where you can put them. Maybe you're just shoving them all in your back pocket. Maybe you're carrying them in your purse. Maybe you're stashing them in your wallet, in the console, in your car. Find a place that you put those receipts every single purchase that you make. That way you're able to find them every single day and track them accordingly. I usually like to track my spending as soon as I get home from spending that money because it's fresh in my mind. It's just easier for me to grab everything, throw it on my desk, throw it on my counter and write everything down. For you, maybe you lead a busier lifestyle and it's just not feasible for you to do that. An idea for you would be to set a reminder on your phone the same time every single day. A consistency breeds habit. So you wanna really make this a habit so it's something that you're doing every day without even having to think of. You wanna set that timer on your phone and you wanna sit down every single night at 8.30 and you wanna go through any receipts that you or your partner or your spouse have accumulated throughout the day. That's what I want you to do. Don't overthink it. All you have to do is grab your spending tracker, grab your receipts, and you're just going to fill in the date the description, which is what you bought or what you spent the money on. The category, so this would be like a budget category. And again, don't get too worried about this. You can just mark it as food or entertainment or miscellaneous or household. And you can refine these after the fact when you're sitting down to actually plug these numbers into your budget. Don't overthink it, just mark down a category. And then of course the amount of what you spent. Depending on how much money you spend throughout the month, you may have to print a couple of these. You can even print them front and back, however many you need so that you have enough space to track for the entire month. Okay, so now you've tracked for the full month. So now what you wanna do is you wanna add everything up. Grab a couple different highlighters or markers and go ahead and highlight and color code all the different categories. So maybe you want to highlight all of your food expenses in purple. Maybe you wanna highlight all your entertainment expenses in green. Maybe you wanna highlight all of your household purchases in orange. Go down and color code everything. Take all of those expenses of each color and add them up. So you're going to add up and get a total for all the orange expenses add up and get a total for all the pink expenses and so on and so forth. Once you have all your totals, it's important to take a little bit of time and analyze this data. What are these numbers telling you? So perhaps you see that you've spent $600 in food. Was this a normal month? Is this about the same amount I go to the store? Did I have roughly the same type of average bills at the grocery store as I usually do? Or perhaps did you track the month of December and and maybe you host Christmas dinner every year and that costs you an extra $100 to purchase all the items. Take a look at these numbers, think through it a little bit, try to determine if this was an average month for you. And again, this is why I like to tell you to track a full two to three months because then you can get a better idea of what an average month is because you have a couple months worth of data. Whereas if you're just looking at one month or even a couple weeks, then this part becomes more important. How much did you spend on household goods? Again, is this a regular month or did you really stock up because there's no paper towels anywhere again? What about entertainment? Were your entertainment costs really low this month because the country's in lockdown? Or did this feel like a more normal entertainment spend for you? Maybe you're like us and your homebodies and you regularly regularly don't spend a lot of money on entertainment. Cool, so then that entertainment total is probably a good amount for you to use for your entertainment budget when you're sitting down to create your monthly budget. Once you think through and you're looking at the totals for each category, you can determine whether you can take that total and make that number your budget for that category or whether you need to increase it a little bit or decrease it a little bit. And once you have all of these budget amounts, all you need 
need to do is sit down and plug them in to your budget. So again, if you signed up for the free budgeting course, that is going to take you through every single step on how you can create a budget that actually works for you. And this exercise of tracking your spending that we just went through in this video is where you're going to get your budget numbers from. I hope that makes sense for you. If you guys have any questions at all, if anything was unclear, please go ahead and leave them in the comments comments. Also, if you did like this video, if you found it helpful, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you back here again for more videos just like this. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you have a great day. Bye. How do I get this low? You come over and we start a fight. Never know who's wrong or right. Feel nothing when you go. I know it's not intelligent, drinking for the hell of it But that's irrelevant now, we should talk about what I